to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be telling why using namespace standard is a bad practice and why we should avoid using it. So I'm going to open up my dev C++ and here I could have some boilerplate code already written for me. I have my IO stream included. I have this using namespace standard and this is the concern for today's video. Um, why do we even use this? What is the purpose of it? And can we avoid using it? And the thing is, um, for good programming practice, we should avoid using it. Why? There are reasons to it and I'm going to be telling that in this video. So for instance, if we have two variables and we give the same name to those variables and we give different values. So like if I have a number and I give something like 100, so I have to say int num and I will give it 100. But then I want to say, oh no, I want to create a number, number that is also, but it's 200 value. So am I getting an error? And the answer to that is yes, I'm gonna get a redeclaration error. So if I try to compile this, you could see over here, redeclaration of int num. And it could you could tell over here, it's line number seven and column number six. And you could see over here, int num previously declared here. So we can do this, but there is a solution to that. And that is by creating your own namespace. Now, what is that is basically like a, section we could say like a container we could store our members or whatever our functions are and we could use them you could utilize them throughout your code so like we could define a namespace ourselves so we could have a namespace keyword and you could just create a namespace num so i would say num1 is my name so you could create whatever you want same thing goes here for num2 so i create a um, separate one which is for num2 and i would just put num2 instead and over here what i'm going to put is the variable which is int num1 so i'm just going to put this and i'm just going to cut this and paste in the num1 section over here and this one which was my second num and i'm just going to paste that in here now i've tried to access it now i'm going to be able to use it so i'm not going to get an error to this so let me just zoom that out so you could see this more properly uh, let me close this too. So you can see over here, we have an IO stream, we have a using namespace standard, and now we have this namespace num1 and num2. Now, if I want to access, like for instance, I want this 200 one to be accessed. So what I could do is I want a console output, right? But I want to access the num2. Can I, get, can I be allowed to do this? Let's see what happens. So I'm going to execute, compile and run. And you could see over here, num was not declared in the scope. This means I didn't specify the scope of what I'm using. I'm not, am I using num, num1 scope, which is over here? Or am I using num2 scope, which is over here? So I'm gonna have to specify my scope over here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna say num2, and I'm gonna put these two colon operators to, and this is known as a scope resolution operator. So now if I'm gonna execute, what you're gonna see is 200 appearing on the screen. And there you go, 200 appears on the screen successfully. So this is how I use my scope resolution operator to specify which namespace I'm using by my address. Now, for instance, like if you wanna capture num of 100, what I'm gonna do is just gonna tell the scope of that. So I'm just gonna tell the scope of one and you're gonna see that I got the 100 one instead. Now what I do want to do here is I want to create something different. So for instance, if I don't have this using namespace included, what's going to happen to the code? You can see I have an error over here that says C out was not declared in the scope. Now I deleted the using namespace standard. Now you could tell what was the purpose of using namespace standard. Now you know that STD is something known as standard. Okay, now standard library of C++. Now this library functions or members. So like this one has one, the num1 we just created. Num2 also has one. What I could do here is create a string and I could call it as level. And I could get, say something like, let's say expert. Now I put a semicolon here. Now I could access that as well. So if I want to access this level, what I do is specify the scope. So it's in num1 space. So what I do is I want to access that level. So I would say num1 and then I put these scope resolution operators and you would see that I have to specify level. So what I would say is level over here. And now you see that I hit the end line and here you have 100 and expert. And I didn't put an end line over here, so I would tend to generally put an end line. 
and there you go, 100 expert. We have access the first name, num1 namespace. Now, now if I remove this namespace standard, which is usually a standard library in C++, it has boatloads of members. So like for instance, we have two over here. Now the standard has so many. And what I could do is if I delete this, what's gonna happen is that you're gonna find some errors out. So let's see. Now we have a string error over here. String does not name a type. Now, now the standard was part of it. So if I wanna access standard, what I'm gonna do is it's already included. What I would do is just specify the scope. So I would just say standard colon colon. Now, um, one more thing is that I got an error over here that C out was not declared in the scope. And you can see line number 18. So the C out is also in the standard library. So I have to specify that. And line is also in the standard library. I have to specify that. And similar to this. So this and also over here. So just have to specify their scopes and hopefully we get this working. So compile and run. And then you could see over here, 100 and expert. So what can we conclude using this is that by including our own standard resolution over here, we could access C out and line string and also C in. And there's just not only this, not only this, but we have so many others that we could use with standard. And the, pra the practice here is that you're supposed to not include using namespace because there could be a conflict appearing. Why? Some of the members could be the same. Like for instance, if I don't have to access the scope, I could have something like C out. Now, this is not gonna be a, one of the examples. Like for instance, C out is in the standard, but what if I create my own C out over here and I say something like in C out, something that could not happen, but some things that could conflict, there could be some dispute between the two. So it's not recommended to do something like that. So a solution to that is include the only one members that you want to include in your code. So what we could do is using, I would say I want C out. So what I would say is I want to use standard colon colon C out. And I would just hit the semicolon over here. Similar to that, I would say using standard colon colon C in, and I want to include that. And then after that, I would say using standard colon colon, I would say end line. And also I would say using standard colon colon, um, I would say string. Now I didn't use CN in this case, so I would just delete this. But now look at that, that instead of even having to have these scope resolution operators specified because we don't have the using namespace standard. Um, and I would delete the rest, which are over here, which are over here. And the same goes to here and over here. So now if I save it and try to execute it, you would see that 100 expert is still appearing. So that means that what I defined was in the global scope and it could be throughout the entire code. Now, the thing is, you could also include using namespace standard. It's no harm to not include it. But what I would do is that if you wanna put in a function or something, like if you create a specified function, you could just use it in one of the functions. Like we know that string we have to use, so we could just put it inside of this and we're not gonna get any harm to that either. So if I don't even include string, I'm not gonna get an error because I use using namespace standard only here, which is local scope and it's not out of the scope. So what I could do is it would still work. So it doesn't appear as a conflict or anything. So that was it with this video and I hope this was useful. This was like one of my general opinions and you would see a lot of videos on YouTube related to this topic of why not using namespace standard and why it is considered as a bad programming practice. Thanks for watching and I would see you in the very next video.